kindergartners. My name is Shelby and I'm from Partnership for Kids. Thank you so much for being at school today. I'm so excited that we can read this book together and do some discussion as well. So our topic today is careers um, and the career that I wanted to be when I was a kid. Um, I wanted to be an actress. That is not what I want to be now. But when I was a kid, that is really what I wanted to be. I wanted to be on TV. Um, but now I'm going to school to be a child life specialist, um, which is somebody who works in hospitals with kids because being in the hospital can be really, really scary sometimes. So I would work with the kids and make them feel a little bit more comfortable. Um, so our book today is called I Want to Be a Doctor, and it's by Laura Driscoll. So our book is going to talk, about, talk a lot about doctors. Um, so before we read, if the, your teacher could just pause the video at this moment and if some people could share some facts that they might know about doctors and then unpause the video when you're finished. Thank you. Okay, well thank you um, for sharing. So we'll go ahead and get into this, but doctors do make people feel better. Um, there's a lot of different kinds of doctors, and we will learn about different kinds of doctors in this book as well. So we'll go ahead and get into it. It's called I Want to Be a Doctor by Laura Driscoll. We are at the hospital. My mom and dad, my brother Jack and me. Jack is not so happy. His foot hurts a lot. I saw the whole thing. Jack flew off the top bunk. Maybe he forgot that he can't fly. Dad put ice on Jack's foot. His foot is black and blue. Mom thinks it could be broken. So here we are in the emergency room. It's a busy place. Some people are hurt. Some are sick. It's a good thing doctors are here to help. I like to help people too, I tell the doctor. Her name is Dr. Tate. Maybe you'll be a doctor someday, she says. Dr. Tate looks at Jack's foot. She touches it gently. Let's take an x-ray, she says. It will show us if any bones are broken. We go to another part of the hospital. An x-ray machine takes a picture of Jack's foot. A man comes to look at the expert at the x-ray. Are you a doctor too? I ask. Yes, he says. I am Dr. Dean and I read x-rays. The doctor sees a small break in one of Jack's bones. So next we go to see Dr. Jones, a bone doctor. There are doctors just for bones, I ask. Yes, Dr. Jones says, just like there are heart doctors, brain doctors, and skin doctors. Who did you see to get those glasses? Do who did you see to get those glasses? Dr. Jones asks. The eye doctor, I say. Who do you call your tooth doctor? Dr. Jones asks. The dentist, I say. And who do you see for checkups? He asks. My regular doctor, I say. Oh, I get it. She's a kid doctor. Mom and Jack go into the exam room. Dad and I decide to get a snack. In the cafeteria, we see lots of doctors and nurses on their lunch breaks. Dr. Tate is one of them. I used to think there's only one kind of doctor, I tell Dr. Tate. 
but there are so many kinds. What kind would you want to be? Dr. Tate asks. I shrug. Well, would you like to meet more doctors with me? She asks. Dr. Tate takes us around the hospital. We meet Dr. Liu, who's a baby doctor. I've always loved working with little ones, Dr. Liu says. Then we meet Dr. Kent. He helps people walk again after an injury. I really get to know the people I treat, Dr. Kent says. Some of them I see every day. We meet Dr. Lopez, who works in a lab. She does tests to see what's making someone sick. You must like puzzles, I say. Yes, Dr. Lopez says. Our work is like solving mysteries. I asked Dr. Kate, Dr. Tate what she likes about being an emergency room doctor. I meet so many people, she says. Every day is different and busy. Later we go find Mom and Jack. Jack has on a special boot. He needs to wear it for a few weeks. It will help his bone heal. Jack can even walk with it. He is feeling so much better. All thanks to doctors. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed that book. If you haven't already gotten a copy of the book, you will get one that you can take home and it's yours to keep. Um, so our book that we, our book covered doctors, talked about, about different kinds of doctors. There was baby doctors, um, doctors who look at x-rays, um, emergency room doctors. They talked about um, kid doctors and dentists. So I want you all to give me either a thumbs up if you would want to be a type of doctor, any type of doctor. A maybe, I don't know if I want to be a doctor or a thumbs down. I definitely don't want to be a doctor. So go ahead. Thumbs up for I want to be a, a doctor. Sideways, I don't know. Down, I don't want to be a doctor at all. Okay, awesome. So th for doctors, what they do for school is they graduate high school and then they go to a four-year college and they major, which means that they start studying classes. Um, they're like pre-med. So it's what they would do. The, these classes will help them before they go to medical school. And after they graduate college, they'll go to medical school. At medical school, they're there for a while. They do, they learn about medicine and how to help people. They do a lot of job shadowing, which means that they follow other doctors around and they learn by watching them and they work in hospitals and things like that. And they get to see all types of doctors and see what they do. Um, so now if your teacher could pause the video and if everyone could go around and share what they want to be when they grow up and then unpause when you're finished, thank you. Okay, well, thank you all for sharing. I'm sure you all have some great ideas what you want to be when you grow up. And with a lot of hard work, you can achieve your career goals and you'll get there. So thank you so much, kindergartners, for being at school today so we can talk about careers, learn about doctors, and read our books together. Have a great rest of your day.